All right, guys, Julian here from the Espresso Bros. Um, for you guys who listen to our podcast, you will see that we spoke a little bit about um, the process before even putting our porta filter into our group head. So this is the little demonstration. This is all the apparatus that we use um, just before we even uh, pull a shot. So I'll take you through the process uh, in a nice quick video here and uh, show you guys what it is exactly that we do. Um, yeah, so I've already pre-ground the coffee to 18 grams. This is an 18 gram basket. We've dosed to 18 grams. This here is the dosing funnel that you guys will hear me talk about. Essentially what it is, it's a big catcher of coffee, so you're not wasting grounds. That just simply sits nice and snug within the porta filter. So that is not going anywhere. We take out 18 grams, smack that baby right in there. So, uh, and that's all we'll need that for. So the coffee's in there. Now this is the mini whisk that I was talking to you guys about. This is what Jamie picked up for us. This thing here we just used to simply declump any clumps that may have formed by accident. So we just swish it around and declump everything. Um, this thing is very handy. We used to use a toothpick that does a similar job, but we find this works much better. If you want one of these, they're not expensive. We're selling them for five bucks. Um, jump on our Instagram page and hit us with a DM and we will uh, look after you. Five bucks for this and it's unbelievable. So then I talk about the hula hoop. We're going in an anti-clockwise fashion here. And all I'm doing is distributing the beans evenly. So you'll see how that sits in there even before I've done anything with it. So that's done for the dosing funnel. I simply slip that out and we're good to go. Now, the OCD distributing tool that we have. This is something that we use with every single coffee that we make. And uh, yeah, we don't make a coffee without it. It just makes life easier. So have a look at the grounds here. I'll try and do it so I don't spill it. But you can see they're just kind of raised and sitting unevenly. I'll place this bad boy right in there. That's it in there. We spin 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see, oh, let me put that back, how nice and flat that now is. It's, we talk about it's almost pre-tamped. So that's what we use uh, with every shot. We'll then go to our tamp box here, put it in. Now this here is the calibrated tamper that you guys will see me talk about. I'll try and push it down, but you can see that it has a little bit of give in there. That's, that's to 25 pounds of pressure, and that's what I used uh, every time for my coffees. It's the decent tamper. Uh, yeah, I find that it works well. So all I do is I put it in, I let it sit there. I'll push down once till you hear that click. That's all you need. That, that's now tamped to 25 pounds of pressure. I then take this second tamp that I have and just sit it on top. And all I'll do is simply one, two. Now that's polished it off. So that right there is a perfectly tamped to 25 gram, 25 pounds of pressure 18 grams, and uh, yeah, I'll pull a shot now and show you guys how it is. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it on the screen. You should be able to. So, I'll give it a purge, always purge. We put it in, take our cup, put it underneath. Normally, I will weigh out. So, I'll use these scales and I'll put it underneath and I'll weigh out to the brew ratio. But for this case, there's no point. I'll just run a shot. Put it in there. Flicker up, that's now pre-infusing. So it's soaking the puck that Jamie talks about and then that coffee is gonna slowly start to trickle out. There we go. And that's coming out quite nicely now. So we'll let that run for about 30 seconds. Um, that's just that rough guy that I talked to you guys about. I might pull a little bit short. I might make a ristretto on this one because I don't really feel like drinking the entire coffee. So it's giving us about, I don't know, 15 mils in that cup there. Um, so actually, uh, let me have a little sip. You know, that ain't that ain't half bad. Um, but yeah, that's the process that we go through before we even make a coffee, and that's how that's how nice it comes out. Thanks for listening, guys. Appreciate it.